Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. So Dave, in this uh, this video, we're gonna go over in-lap details. Mm -hmm. We're talking about fleece here today, so some considerations have to be thought of when you're doing fleece in-lap details. So like a smooth, if this were smooth TPO, if I run out a 100-foot roll and I start another one, I can lap it by four, five, or six inches and roll right onto it, right? Correct. Continue on down the roof. This is a different story. Mm -hmm. So what can we? What do we have to do when we're working with fleece? So have, we have a piece here. Well, first of all, we have a piece of fleece that you can't weld. So what do you Just, call this stuff? The technical term again? Uh, fuzzies. Fuzzies. Right. right. So you can't weld the fuzzies. So right? I can't take I can't take this piece. It's no. cut right here. It's, we butted it together. You butted it. I together. can't run, lap that on six inches and try and weld through that. Nope. You're going to have to use an eight-inch flashing strip that we provide, or you can cut your own. Cut your own. Right. If you want to cut your own, I would. Across it, I'd make them the same. Eight inches, ten inches, whatever the case may oh, be. Oh, absolutely. That so way everything look looks beautiful. the same. Yeah. And so, be sure, Wally, that this is done before the end of the day, or you may have to clean. That's so, the thing. cleaning. Yeah. Yeah. And you can probably ask any estimator out there how much time they have clean, figured in cleaning on the roof. Yeah. It's the labor. Right. What's going to kill you. So, again, very important. Finish these as you go. Mm -hmm. Typically, this is going to, underneath this lap here, we're going to weld over top of it. Right. And you could do it one or two ways, I guess. Couldn't you? Couldn't you tuck this underneath and weld over top? You could, but you'd have a wider, yeah, wider yeah. opening. I mean, this to me is just as easy. Use your robot or your hand welder. Don't forget your T's. Yep. You're so robot the field seams, and typically, more times than not, guys would weld these by hand. Okay. Because you're really not saving a lot of time running that robot down because you got to finish it off by hand anyway. Right. So, we're done. No, we're not. Not yet. Not yet? So okay. We got to do edge cut on that. We do have our stripping welded in. Now we did the ends a couple different ways. Mm -hmm. So we have a couple T-joints down here. Right. And basically up here, we just took a bigger piece of unsupported. Right. And in the long run, if you want to get nitpicky, you actually eliminate a couple T-joints. Right. But you even have... if you're using the unsupported, everything's unsupported on right. the piece. So right. basically, you got one, two, three, six. Basically, you got four T-joints up here. Mm -hmm. If you want to do it this way, make sure they're all the same. You don't come in this big, when this big, kind of make them all uniform. Well, that's the nice thing about t joints they're all the same. Yeah. Don't forget to use your cut edge seal on this because it is a cut edge. So you didn't slashing strip, cut from a yeah, from big Make roll. your own? Yeah. Just make, again, just make it all the same, whatever size you make. Right. So check out our other videos at gif.com slash roofing it right.